In July 1995, a massacre took place in the town just beyond this cemetery and memorial. 8,372 known victims. But the inscription below says the total number of victims is as yet unknown. The remains of some of those who have been found and identified lie here in this remarkable place, this cemetery and monument to the massacre. And here, a list of the towns and the villages where people came seeking sanctuary. And the most infamous name of all, Srebrenica, the town they came to, expecting the protection of the United Nations. But in fact, they were slaughtered here, slaughtered in their hundreds and in their thousands. It was a bleak time, one of the darkest moments in our history of man's inhumanity to man. But from all of those horrors, there is hope. And that hope comes with Lend With Care. Working with our partners here in Bosnia-Herzegovina and our partners at home, including the cooperative, we can begin to rebuild fresh lives for some of the victims of these horrors, the widows and the orphans. By finding the right amount of money for the right people, we can give them a fresh start, a new beginning, and we can give them hope. It really is transforming their lives. Lend With Care is a powerful program that is transforming lives. And I want to tell you just a few examples, a few stories that prove that point. We meet Tifa, a qualified lawyer, her husband Mustafa, a policeman, and their two beautiful girls, aged five and six. At the outbreak of war, Mustafa fled to the mountains with his father and brother. Most refugees clung together in a big group and were caught and slaughtered. Mustafa was among those who broke away and survived. The family is lucky. They enjoy a modest income and live on a small holding of family land. Microfinance has enabled them to expand, buy sheep and goats, sell meat and wool and do better. They trust Lend With Care's local partner, a microfinance institution run by Women for Women, who they say are more sympathetic and less admin bound than the banks. They make their payments and their dream is economic independence. We wouldn't be able to do anything without a loan. We were living off one small salary. I am an optimist. If I wasn't like that, we wouldn't be having what uh, we have now. And uh, I can just say that the hard work pays off. Snajena is 27. Her house was burnt down during the war and she and her family were forced to flee to Serbia. Since her return, things are looking up. She now runs her own hairdressing salon. She worked in one, borrowed 430 pounds, trained and set up her own business. She arranged two more loans, repaid them and is now on her fourth. She makes a profit and her ambition is to employ someone to help. The last loan helped me to uh, be independent, to make my business sustainable, and it, I must say it helped me a lot. I, I wouldn't be able to do anything without uh, the, the loan funding. In the hills above Srebrenica, Tima and her son have sheep and a few fruit trees. The war took her husband and her home. Care rebuilt the house and is now helping her rebuild her life. The family fled to the mountains, but her husband didn't return. His remains discovered in a mass grave in 2008. She's now on her second loan, 860 pounds, which ensures her survival. They work hard. Seeds in the spring are harvest, some sheep sales, and then something of a rest in the bleak winter. Her priority is a job for her son, that, and survival. Care is helping with survival, the job prospects more bleak. Well, yes, it helped a lot because without uh, assistance I wouldn't be able to work. I can earn some income from sheep uh, farm. Uh, basically I have a pension that is small. I'm happy that I'm living in my home, that I'm using my property. It, it is hard living. What is really missing is the employment. I would like my son to be 
employed and if he was employed, I would be the happiest woman alive. This is simple economics transforming ordinary and extraordinary lives. It can enhance the existence of those on the brink of destitution. It can take a low-wage group of survivors to a new level and it can salvage lives like Tima's from utter destitution. This disused factory on the outskirts of Srebrenica is where the people were gathered and divided. Women and babies in that direction, men and young boys in that direction, to be massacred. Lend with Care isn't going to be able to recreate factories on this scale, but it's going to be able to build new small businesses and farm holdings that really will be the future of Bosnia-Herzegovina. Small-scale enterprises transforming lives. <laughs>